I'm Logan Crawford, and right now on Spotlight, we're diving into an out-of-this-world adventure with Christine Poole, author of Danny's Adventure, Gorgon's Nubis. This thrilling sci-fi novel and story follows 10-year-old Danny as he takes on the unknown in a daring space rescue mission. If you're a fan of exciting adventures packed with mystery and action, you won't want to miss this wonderful book. We're delighted to have this very talented author join us here today on Spotlight. We thank the team at Atticus Publishing for helping us put her in the spotlight today. And we ask viewers like you to support authors like her by subscribing to our channel and by purchasing her wonderful book. The links are below this interview. Christine, great to see you here today on Spotlight. Great to be here. Thank you for having me. Tell me who Danny's Adventure is written for. What age group would you like to see get their hands on this book? Well, age group, it's actually written as a chapter book so that reading age kids can read it themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the main audience that I'm gearing it towards. Yes. But it could also be, you know, read to younger children and they would be able to understand the storylines. Um, the book you referred to is actually the second book in the series. Okay. Uh, the first book is uh, Danny's Adventure, Where's Shelley? Oh, okay. The, um, the second book is Gorgon's On Nubis. They messed up the title, but <laughs> either way, uh, it's still, you know, a good book. Yeah, right absolutely. And so this is a series. Comes... Danny's Adventure is, is part of a series. Yes, Okay, yes. Where's Shelley is part one. Let's talk about that. Tell us the story of Where's Shelley. Uh, Shelley, Danny is 10 years old, but he thinks he's too old for a babysitter, and Shelley used to be his babysitter. Now he considers her one of his best friends. And um, so he, uh, he discovers that the experimental uh, spacecraft that she was supposed to be using as a diplomatic ship, landed and she wasn't in it. Mm. So naturally, he panics. She's not there. She's in trouble. She's been captured by bad people, and he has to go rescue her. Yeah, or thinks he does. <laughs> He's ten. <laughs> oh, that's a great adventure for sure. And Danny's adventure, Gorgon on Nubis. Tell us what that yeah. book is about. That is when the bad guys, which are the Gorgons come to his home planet to try and take over his home planet. Um, their, their main goal in life is to take over all the habited planets in their universe, which there are three. And um, I'll talk about those in a little bit. But um, their idea, the Gorgons want to just take over all the planets, rule everybody and make them all their slaves. Sure. So when they come to Danny's planet, then he discovers that they're there. And he sets out the alarm. Everybody gets saved. And they get captured. Wonderful. Well, they're very inventive stories. I'm sure children love them, children of all ages. Uh, that's for sure. Now, how many books are you envisioning in this series? So far, I've got three written, and I've got a fourth one on the way. Wonderful. Uh, and Wonderful. The, other, these, uh, the other two haven't been, been uh, published yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the, be... what's the name of the third book? Uh, Danny's Adventure's Best Birthday Ever. Oh, okay. That sounds great. Kids love birthdays, so they'll definitely be yeah. able to relate to that. That's for sure. Yeah. Wonderful. Now, have you had the opportunity to give these books to a child or read them to a child? Uh, yeah. Um, my granddaughters have both read them. Well, the older granddaughter has read them. And uh, she's not as much into space stuff as the other kids, but uh, she said it was pretty good, Grandma. Well, that's a rave. From, from, from a little kid, that's a rave. Yes, yeah. it is. That's wonderful. So. That's wonderful. Have you envisioned these stories perhaps as a TV series or a series of films or something like that? Actually, I have. I think yeah. they would make a great film series for kids yeah. and even adults because yeah. there's a lot of stuff in there that kind of, you know, teaches kids 
the right way to do things as opposed to, uh, you know, what they shouldn't do and not overly bended in the stories, but just enough so that the adults know that I'm talking to them too. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. I think they'd be a great, a great series, no doubt. Uh, I think kids would find it fascinating. I think a lot of kids consume their entertainment that way this year, this these days by watching it. So I think it would be a great story. Are these the first times you tried your hands at writing? You've uh, Is this your first endeavor in writing? Well, my first endeavor at being published. Oh, okay. I've written all my life. Okay. As far back as I can remember, I've been writing poems, stories, whatever. Just a moment. Come in. Jason? Sorry, somebody that's left okay. the door. No worries, no worries. Well, that's wonderful. Well, we're glad you uh, got these books published so other people can enjoy them. And tell us, what are, what are some of the lessons that you help children learn from these books? Well, do what you're told. Don't just mm -hmm. jump in and do your own thing thinking you know what they're, what's going on when you're a little kid. Because when parents tell you something, they usually have a very good reason for telling you. Absolutely. And it's not just them being mean to you. Yeah. And um, that's that's the first one. And the yeah. next one is... Uh, Seems like yeah. the concept Be of bravery of comes up as well, too, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And be able to, you know, be able to know when when somebody when when you're in danger, so you can go and get an adult mm -hmm. to come help. You know? Yeah. Don't try and take on it yourself. You're, a, you know, as a child, go get yeah. somebody to help you if you know you're in danger. Exactly. Tell us That's a little the, bit about gorgons on Nubis. What are they all about? These gorgons. The gorgons are. Like I said, the bad guys in the in the series, they want to take over the entire universe, rule all the all of the planets that mm -hmm. have life on them, and make everybody in, on those planets hit their slaves, basically. Mm. Yeah. They're just not real nice people. Gotcha. They live on a swamp planet themselves, so they think by taking over the rest of the universe, they can have all the wonderful things that are on the other planets that they don't have on theirs. Oh, wonderful. Tell us a little bit about Shelley and uh, her story. Well, uh, Shelley, like I said, originally was Danny's babysitter. Right. And uh, she got involved with the Gorgons thinking that they were going to be good people and they wanted to know about uh, how to uh, plant stuff on their planet and, and make it more prosperous and, you know, grow things and things like that. Mm. And so uh, she goes there as an ambassador uh, of Nubus to try and help them to learn how to, to create, you know, farms and stuff on their own home planet mm. well at least that's what she thinks she's going for but mm. then when she gets there she finds out that's not what that they really want mm. and so uh, it comes out it turns out that she does need to be rescued but not but she didn't think she was going to need to be sure. so. gotcha and before we leave you today tell us about the third book the birthday party book what's that going to be about that will be uh, about uh, Danny's birthday. Uh, it'll be his 12th birthday. We're skipping years here in the, in the books. So it'll be his 12th birthday. And uh, the uh, people of Nubis have set, thrown him a big party because of all the things he's done to help um, get rid of the Gorgons on their planet and keep them from trying to take over. So... Uh, it's about his birthday party and the gifts that the the, the city gives to Danny um, for his birthday and, you know, basically the whole thing. Yeah. And, of course, we have to have the Gorgons in there. They'll <laughs> be there, too. Okay, but, uh, sounds great.
Not Wonderful. We're not going to well, let everybody know what's going on yet. Exactly. You got to leave a little mystery out there so people buy the book and read the books. These books are highly recommended, folks. It is called Danny's Adventure. It's a series of books, three books so far. A fourth book is coming. It is uh, really, they are really, really enjoyable reads. Uh, very imaginative, very inventive, and very relatable tales. Great imaginative tales that children will just latch on to and love. Christine, thanks so much for joining us here today on Spotlight. Thank you for having me. Pleasure's all mine. And to the folks at home, I'm Logan Crawford, thanking you for your time this time. Until next time on Spotlight.